Hey guys, I'm Kevin with JCR Off-Road. In this video, we're gonna be installing a set of our XJ Crusader sliders. So to get started, we're gonna to need to grab a tape measure. We'll place it here right at the back edge of this fender where it bolts to the pinch seam. And then you'll come back and make a mark here on the pinch seam right at 10 and a quarter inches. You can kind of carry that all the way up just so it's more visible for reference. After you have that marked out, go ahead and grab the pinch seam bracket. You can line this up here at the mark you just made. And then you're gonna to need to mark and drill out these holes to 5 16 So I'm just gonna start by marking out the front one. I'll drill that. That'll kind of hold and locate the bracket, and then I'll come back and get the other four. So as always, when you're going to drill out a hole, it's a good idea to start with a center punch. Then we'll start out with a smaller pilot hole and work our way up to 5 16 So after you drill out a hole like that, it's always a good idea to come back and touch that up with some paint just to protect any bare metal. And then you can install this pinch seam cover. You're gonna be using a 5 16 bolt with a washer there. And then on the back side, you'll use a serrated flange nut. So I'm just gonna get this finger tight and then I'll come back and use the bracket as a guide to drill out my other four holes. Once you have all your hardware in place, you can grab a half inch socket and tighten these up. Next, we can begin installing the slider mounting legs to the pinch seam bracket. So we're gonna start here with the front bracket. It's gonna look just like this. You'll be bolting it through this top slot using another 5 16 bolt with a washer. So I'm gonna get that in place here on the bracket. Hold that in with my thumb from underneath. And then this will slide up in to the slot here on the pinch seam bracket. And then I'll reach over the top to get this flange lock nut in place. Just gonna run that up finger tight. And then you want to make sure that this bracket gets pushed all the way forward toward the front of the vehicle in that slot. So next we're gonna install the rear leg to the pinch seam bracket. It's gonna install up there the same way with that 5 16 bolt. This one is gonna look just like this with a longer length cutout. And once we have this one up in place, we're gonna also push it all the way forward in that slot, but then we're gonna check it with a measurement. So for that measurement, we're just gonna be looking for an overall center to center between the front and rear bracket. An easy way to do that is to place your tape measure on the front edge of the front bracket and then measure to the front edge of the rear bracket. And you're looking for this measurement to be somewhere between 30 and a half and 30 and three quarter. If you see you're outside of that just a little bit, you're gonna to wanna to start by making your adjustments at the rear leg before ever touching the front. After you have those located, you're gonna to need to mark and drill your holes here at the inside of the leg mounts. 
For those, you're just gonna center punch them and drill them out to 5 16 just like you did out here. Now, whether you want to mark all of these, then pull the leg back off before drilling the holes, or use the leg as a guide, which we're gonna recommend. Either way, at the end, you probably wanna come back and touch up the paint in here as well. Once you have your holes drilled, you're gonna secure this in here using a 3 8 thread cutting bolt. So just grab a 9 16 socket, apply a little bit of pressure to that, and you can run it in. It's always a good idea to back that out just a little bit so that you have just a little bit of compliance while you get the other three in. With all four of those thread cutters in this mount and tight, you can move to the front and install that the same way. So now before this slider can go on, you're gonna need to do a few things to it. To start there, you can throw your logo tread plate on. Simply line that up over the holes. Make sure the logo is facing the correct way. And then you'll install this using the black quarter inch button head hardware with flange lock nuts on the inside. So once you have all that hardware started, you'll just need a 5 30 seconds hex to tighten these up. After that, you can install the rock lights into each end of the slider. These are gonna install here to the back side of this face You'll use the stainless button head bolt with the plastic washer from the outside. And then here on the inside, you'll install a stainless washer and nylock nut. Once both of those are started, you'll need a three mil hex and an eight mil wrench. And then you'll just wanna tighten these down evenly so that that sits flat to the face. Then you can go do the same thing over on the other side. After that's all in place, we're ready to get the slider up on the mounts. So to get this up on here, I've got it sitting on a jack. You might wanna just grab the help of a friend. We're gonna get this up in place and then it'll mount to these leg brackets using these half inch carriage bolts with a serrated flange nut on the inside here. I'm gonna kinda of get one started like this and then you can reach through the high lift hole here on the outside to help you line that up as it goes into place. Then once that's lined up, just reach around from underneath and get the nut installed. Once I have one started here, I'll go to the front and get another one started up there. That'll kind of hold everything lined up well enough that you can come back and get the other three bolts on each mount installed. Now, once you have all that inner hardware started, you wanna make sure this slider is centered front to rear on the vehicle, and then grab a three quarter socket with a swivel and come down underneath to tighten those up. So after you get all that tightened up, you just need to come back and wire in your rock lights to complete your install. So if you guys have any questions about this installation or any other product we offer here at JCR Off-Road, go ahead and reach out to us. You can call us at 269-353-1184 or send us an email at info at jcroffroad.com.